there's also a, uh, a research that they found, you know, confidence and courage and, and discipline. These things are not something you're born with. You know, they, they, there's a very solid academic research behind this. They're like also muscles. You have to keep yourself, keep trying to get out, out of your comfort zone and try to build up your muscle, your mental muscle. And, and eventually you will become more confident. But if you stop doing it, you know, going back, like if, for me, after 100 days, I'm starting being a whole, you know, just not, not seeing people for another 100 days, I would change again, you know. So um, I hope this, this has given you a little sense of what rejection is and how to treat, treat it differently. Now, let's try something interesting, all right? I'm gonna have a challenge for you guys. In, let's play rejection therapy. Let's play this game. Uh, this is good, it's downtown, there are a lot of places out there. In 10 minutes, go out and get as many re rejections as you can. <laughs> Count the number. Count the number. Of course, be safe. You know, the, the <laughs> <laughs> but some people go to safe yeah. and what, 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 what's the time? 447. 4.47. 4.47. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do 5 o'clock. Come back by 5 o'clock and tell me how many re rejections we've got. So we're going for quant over quality here? Or what's the Just, no, no, quantity. Quantity. Yeah, quantity, exactly. quantity. But you have to get rejected. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, so for time purpose, let's, let's, let's get started. Right. Who, okay, who think you got a pretty high number? Raise your hand. Of no's or yeses? No's. How many no's? Uh, how many did you get? I got oh. 10 for 10. So what did you do? I just asked people, well, first yes I got was, can I help you cross the street? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, and then, but then after that, I said, can I borrow 10, five, 5 bucks? And I figured that's too easy. And then I said, uh, can you keep quiet for five minutes, for five seconds? <laughs> 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 okay. And I, I, I hit a couple groups, you know. All right. So I was talking oh. to some, some foreigners, and, and, a, and actually one guy was saying, I have that problem, get, getting that fear of rejection myself. Oh. So we started talking about it on the street. So you got those and make friends. That's nice. Nice. Well, they asked me why. Why am I asking this, these stupid questions? Because <laughs> it's a class exercise, and I'm, I'm, I'm immunizing myself against it. no. Okay, that's great. That's great. But you got a group. That's uh... <laughs> who else got a pretty high number? Maybe that's already the highest number. But who else? Uh, who else got over got seven? Yeah, what do you, what's some of the things you, you ask? Um, I asked for a girl's scarf, and she's like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I asked for a guy's bike while he was riding it. She was in the burlesque, the burlesque yeah. of fame. Yeah. Oh, that was Bambi. Bambi, and yeah, Bambi. she did. She taught him how. She, she, she gave him. Um, <laughs> Are you going to show us? And said, show "Yeah, show yeah. Us. yeah. <laughs> You have to give the words. You have to give the words. Yeah, so she said. On the main stage. So there's an apple on one side of your hip, and there's an orange on the other. <laughs> and a coffee bean hanging in the middle. <laughs> hit the apple, hit the orange, dry in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Who else got a yes? Who else got a All right. I got, I got a great yes. I was out, I passed this guy, uh, probably homeless guy, and I asked him for a quarter. And he says, I'm out doing the same thing, man. So I, let him, I let him walk by. And I was like, oh, this is a good one. So I ran up to him. I said, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll give you something better if you let me have the change in your hand. And he's all, no. And so and I said, I promise it, it's, it's a lot better than what you have now. And he looks at me like, I don't think so, and I said, well, and so I, I reached into my wallet, and when I reached into my wallet, he's kind of like, well, what you 
<laughs> so I said, I'll trade you your change for what I have in my wallet. And so he's like, oh, okay. Puts the change in. So I pulled out some money and I handed him a ten dollar bill. Wow. And he's like, this ain't real. Give me, give me money. <laughs> <laughs> so I argued with him for about three or four minutes. I'm like, that, I promise, go in, have it marked. It's real money. He's like, okay, okay, thank you. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't want my so money, you, you, how many notes you get? One. One. Two. She said no to make out with yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I won't go there. So, <laughs> but you, well, you, you're trading no for, but you got a, you, you got pretty fun. <laughs> yes. Um, I asked some guy for his car, and he's like, "Sure, it's a piece of crap." <laughs> <laughs> oh, a car? Yeah. That you drive? Yeah. And so um, it was, a, but it was a red Mustang convertible. Wow! So <laughs> <laughs> wow. yes, I'm gonna hire this woman for sales for the sales. That's amazing. I already did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So for time, for time purpose, we're gonna we're gonna try to conclude this. I have a couple things I want to just. I thought. I mean, I, I talked about this in my talk as well. The successful, really successful people view rejections very differently. You know, it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, but they use rejections to make themselves better. You know, and the, the you know the example is you know uh, C.S. Lewis got rejected 800 times for uh, for trying to sell his first manuscript, but when he did it, that was a masterpiece. Same thing with uh, uh, you know the, uh, Steven Spielberg trying to um, persuade Daniel Day Lewis trying to be the main actor, and that is. Uh, and he got rejected three times. And think about who he is. You know, he, he, he doesn't hear no's at all. People would just just do whatever try to be in his movie, but he got no's. And every time he rewrote the script and made him the, made the script better. So those people they see no's as chance to improve, chance to collaborate even. So uh, that's this whole spirit of, of rejection. You know, in the end, it really just uh, I feel every rejection has a number. Uh, just like in, and once you hit enough. The num when you get that number, you're going to get a yes. And then you're going to be a much better person for it. So, uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you for coming, everyone. Yeah.